Okay, welcome to the country Paradiso. In this question, we show you what the country Paradiso is able to produce. They have resources to produce either food or guns. But obviously they have a limited amount of resources, so they can only produce a certain amount of both. Now in this table, we show you the information of what Paradiso can produce. We give you uh, different combinations here, is the combinations of how many food and how many guns Paradiso can produce. Now if we look at combination A, at combination A Paradiso can produce a thousand tons of food, but then they've used all their resources on food and they have nothing left to produce any guns, so they can't produce any guns. And combination B, on the other hand, Paradiso produces 900 tons of food and they have enough resources left to produce 1 million, ton, um, 1 million guns. Alright, so all these, um, all these combinations show you different amounts Paradiso can produce. But this is given graphically and we would like to show it this is given in the table, sorry, and we would like to show it graphically. So let's put, make this small and put it in the corner. There's all our information. And then let's draw the axis necessary to draw the PVC. Now I'm going to use all these points given in the table and I'm going to draw my PVC. Let's first start with drawing the correct axis. Now I'm going to put food on the Y axis. So let's write food over here. I'm going to put guns on the x-axis and put a little zero there to show the origin. Then what I'm quickly going to do is going to mark all these points given here on my graph. So let's start with guns. Guns is given from zero to five million. So I have zero over there, there's one million, two million guns, three million guns, four million, and lastly, five million. So I also make some indications for the food, given from zero to a thousand. So I have zero there, then 300, I have 550 more this year, 750, then 900 and lastly a thousand. Okay. Now it's much easier. Now all I have to do is I have to plot all the combinations. Let's start with A. Combination A. And combination A I can produce a thousand tons of food but no guns. So here's a thousand tons of food and no guns. See that? It's right on the X. So this is point A. Let's go to point B. Point B, I can produce 900 tons of food and 1 million guns. So here's 900 tons of food, and over here is 1 million guns. So there's the point I'm looking for. That's point B. Now let's go to combination C. Combination C, I can produce 750 tons of food and 2 million guns. So here is 750 tons of food and here is 2 million guns. Alright, there they come together. There, I put a nice big mark showing that this is combination C. Now let's go to combination D. Combination D, I can produce 550 tons of food and 3 million guns. So here is 550 tons of food and here is 3 million guns. That's point D. Now point E. Let me just give a different color. Point E over there. There's 300 tons of food and 4 million guns. So here's 3 100 tons of food and there's three, 4 million guns. 
and that's point B. And lastly, but not the least, is point F. Point F, I can't produce any food because I've used all my resources on guts. So I can't produce any food. Zero, because I've used all my resources to make five million guts. This is point F. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the dots. And this is the general shape of your PPC. But now if we go one bit further, we'll see that there's a certain amount of opportunity cost to change the combination. So what do I mean with this? Let's go back to the table. Let's look for instance at the opportunity cost of increasing the amount of guns I produce. If I want to increase my production of guns from zero to one million guns, what's my opportunity cost? Now remember, opportunity cost is the value of the maximum, the value of the second best opportunity you gave up. In this case, we're talking about food. So if I produce one million guns, I have to give up the production of a hundred tons of food. Food. Very important to state that it's food. Why? Because it's not money, it's not uh, production of cars, it's specifically food. I had to give up a hundred tons of food to produce one million guns. Now, what's going to happen if I increase the production of guns from one million to two million? Hmm. Now I have to give up 900 minus. 750 tons of food which gives me 150 tons of food so now i have to give up even more food to produce one unit one million of guns okay. what happens when we go from two million guns to produce three million guns all right how much food do we have to give up then then we have to give up 750 minus 550 so we have to give up the production of 200 tons of food right and we can go on what if we want to go from 3 million um, tons of food oh sorry 3 million guns to 4 million guns how much food do we have to give up then then we have to give up even more food we have to give 250 tons of food and then lastly, what if we want to even increase our production of guns further and go from 4 million to 5 million uh, guns? Then we have to give up the last 300 tons of food. Okay. Now, do you see something that's occurring here? Initially, I only had to give up 100 tons to produce one million guns. Then I had to give up 150 tons of food to produce one million guns. Then I had to give up even more and more and more food to produce one million um, guns. So the amount of guns stays the same. I keep increasing it with one million. But the amount of food I give up increases. Alright, now this is kind of important. Let's show this on a graph. Now, uh, maybe let's just draw this graph neatly. There we go. Um, to show it well. Now you will see this is exactly the same graph we draw earlier. It's just done neatly on a computer so you can see everything. Let's fill this table in again. To go from zero guns to one million guns, I have to give up a hundred tons of food. To go from 1 million to 2 million guns, I have to give up 150 tons of food. To go from three, 2 to 3 million guns, I have to give up 200 tons of food. To go to from 3 to 4 million guns, I have to give up 250 tons of food. To go to from 4 to 5 million guns, 
have to give up 300 tons of food. Now let's look at the, this on the graph. If I go from zero guns to one million guns, meaning I give up 100 tons of food, we can see that I go from point A to point B over here, meaning my amount of food decreases from 1,000 to 900. Can you see the 100 tons of food over here? Tons of food. Now, if I go from 1 million guns to 2 million guns, I go from point B to point C. So the amount of food I give up is this area over here. That is 150 tons of food. If I go from 2 million guns to 3 million guns over here, I go from point C to point D. I move along the curve, then I have to give up. I'm just going to write 200 tons of food. If I go from 3 million to 4 million guns, I go from point D to point E over there. So the amount of food decreases with. 250 tons of food and lastly if I go from 4 million to 5 million guns I move from point E to point F and my amount of uh, food decreases with the most jet 300 tons of food so it's clear that every time this arrow gets larger can you see that? The further we go down the PPC, the larger your opportunity cost gets.